Many people tune their airsofts but forget that the weapon can only be as good as their weakest chain. And often that's the BBs, because they enormously influence how accurate your weapon is gonna be. Today we test for you which brand offers the best bang for your buck. We will choose the best bank for the bug winner as well as the performance winner if you don't care about the price. In this video we will test 11 brand of BBs with this brand new GK5C. We will only test Bio BBs as on most German fields they are required by now and also Bio BBs are the only ones you can eat on the way. Delicious. At a survey on my Facebook page, you could decide which 11 brands of bio bees you wanted to see the most. We'll rate these brands now in Joule Consistency, Range, Abrasion Resistance, Roundness, Possible Swelling from Moisture, Fragmation Resistance and of course Accuracy. By the way, this video was made with AutoShop that sponsored all the BBs. We bought them all for our own money, around 220 euros only for the BBs. So we can present you a result which really shows the overall winner and not the winner which somebody paid a lot of money for. In the end, we will conclude the results for you. So let's begin with the dual consistency. Therefore, we chrome the energy with this GK5C of different shots of each brand. From those different shots and their results, we will calculate the average deviation. At this test, HK and Super King perform the best, with a variance of 0.02 Joule at 10 shots. The loser of this test was PHX Prime with a variance of 0.07 Joule. Next, we will test for you the roundness, especially for tight bar barrels. It's really important that the BBs aren't exactly 6mm big, but a little bit smaller, so they still will fit to those really tight barrels. We measured this with an extremely accurate micrometer gouge. The winner of this test were Jinji, King Arms and PHX Prime with a rating of 0.01mm. The loser of this test was ICS with a tolerance of 0.05mm. We've already experienced it. It's raining at an event and suddenly the BBs don't really want to go through the barrel because they are swollen. Because of this we previously measured all the BBs and then put them in the test tube with water for 24 hours. After this we measured the exact diameter of each brand again afterwards and compared them with the starting values. In this test we couldn't find any difference for all the brands after 24 hours. Let's go to the abrasion resistance now. Many players underestimate that the accuracy can be influenced even by minor debris in the barrel. We will test this now with a vise and a constant applied pressure on the sandpaper and we will see how soft the BBs are. Green Devil wins this test with 0.39mm and PRX Prime loses once again with 0.59mm. We will go to a test now concerning safety, the fragmentation test. Unfortunately, many people still wear mesh goggles since they don't fog. But the BBs can fracture and the fragments can literally hit your eye. So we will test for you which BBs fulfill the safety aspect. From all the brands we tested, PHX Prime fractures the most. Other brands like Speedball, ICS, Biovol and Super King fracture as well, but not as bad as PHX Prime. Brands that didn't fracture in our tests were King Arms, Rocket, HK, BB King and GNG. We will test the range now. Depending on the position of trapped air inside the BB, it influences its range and accuracy. As an example, we opened a few BBs for you and you can see the different air bubbles pretty good. Also, we drove out to a field for you to test the range of the different BBs. King Arms won this test with 66 meters and HK with only 58 meters lost. You can see by choosing the right BB, you can gain about 8 meters of range. The most important test in the end, the precision. We are testing this with a clamp down GK5C for you at about 50 meters in the Whitless Hall. We calculate the precision with a custom software which was especially developed for us. 
For this, we will shoot at this 1x1 meter target with this mesh wire on it. Every one of those 2500 squares is registered as a hit by the software, as soon as the BB hits the square. From this data, the poker then calculates the midpoint of all the hits, which is the point where the weapon is aiming at. Every one of those 2500 squares is registered as a hit in the software, as soon as the BB hits it. From this data, the poker then calculates the midpoint of all the hits, which is the point where the weapon is aiming at. This is also the point to which you would zero your weapon. The average difference from this midpoint is then the standard deviation, which we will tell you in millimeter. This way we have for the first time a really accurate measurement for the accuracy of a weapon, on this case of the BBs. We will show you now the spread of our precision test winner with only 9.785 cm standard deviation from the midpoint. Is GNG our definite winner of our precision test? Now we will show you the spread of our loser in the accuracy test, which is PAX Prime as the obvious loser with 32 cm. This we already noticed at the range test as the BBs were flying in all directions. So let's choose the overall winner now. Therefore, we will first take a look at who won in each category. Pretty good to see here in this chart, green means the brand won this category and red means of course it lost. There were also some tests where a few brands won or like here with the moisture test where no single one of the BBs swelled, because of this we decided to give points from 10 to 0. This means the winner gets 10 points, the second one 9 and so on so on. We will wait the most important part the precision with double points. As far as the dual consistency test, you can see that HK and Super King won. PHX on the other hand lost. At the roundness, GNG won together with PHX Prime and King Arms, and ICS lost. Because none of the BBs swelled at the moisture test, we didn't wait that. At the abrasion test, Green Devil won by far, while PHX Prime lost again. At the fragmentation test, PHX Prime turned out to be a real safety threat and lost completely. All the other brands, color green here, won this test and didn't fracture. King Arms clearly won the range test, while HK lost it by far. At the most important test, the precision test, which rated double points as I said earlier, GNG won clearly, while PHX Prime was a complete failure again. The cheapest BBs were the gunfire rockets with only 0.0. Right? You are so sick of your ponies! Well, you can still buy the most expensive ones we tested, which were the biowalls, that somehow didn't convince us in any category at all. I don't care, I've got enough money! Whatever, the best total package, by the way, are the GNG BBs, which aren't the cheapest ones with only 4 points for the price, but convinced in their overall performance with one. Two, three tests won, and especially, the most important part, the precision. All the test results are of course also linked in the description below, where everyone can compile their own overall winner depending on your own personal preference. Our overall winner, with our focus clearly on the accuracy, is GNG, which also succeeded in various other categories, for example the roundness or the fracture resistance. In der Rundheit oder im Splitter test. Therefore, we have our final winner with 64 points. The worst performing brand is PHX Prime. They lost in many different categories, like for example the Jew consistency or the accuracy. They also fractured the worst, and therefore are a big safety hazard on the field. With 28 points, they didn't even reach half of the points of our final winner, GNG. For our winner, GNG, there are a few things left to say. For example, they are the only BBs which come in a vacuum sealed bag, and also in this bag there is an anti moisture pack. One reason why these BBs are required on big airs of a piece in Germany by now could be that they are the only BBs for which we found a TÜV certificate that they are really biodegradable within only 120 days. This test shows that biodegradable BBs are in no way inferior to normal BBs and are better for your environment. It is our duty to ensure airsoft fields don't become plastic dumps and to present airsoft in a better way, so it's helpful to use only biodegradable BBs. At least, this is our opinion. A big shout out to all the people who previously told us on Facebook which brands they prefer to play with. 
Bayerville was one of the most liked PBs, which didn't really translate to our test results. Maybe you have noticed the significantly improved video quality, which was made possible by new equipment, but also by the collaboration with Ronex Airsoft, who produced this video in the studio. Neues equipment, vor allem aber auch durch die Zusammenarbeit mit Ronex Airsoft. We hope this video was helpful to you for your future BB purchase, and maybe you know other people who could profit from this video. But most of all, we hope that in the future brands get bought that are worth your money. Vor allem aber hoffen wir, dass in Zukunft Sorten gekauft werden, die ihr Geld auch wirklich wert sind. Und nicht Sorten, die vielleicht... And not brands that were good once ago, but not anymore. <coughs> Be <your right. coughs> If you have improvement tips or wish for specific videos in the future, please let me know in the comments below. But first of all, I have to sweep this whole hall. I dare you if I can find a single BB somewhere later. It means sure consistency, fuck, 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 fuck. The worst performing band, of course, is PHX Primes. PH.